Hello, welcome back to part 7 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to finish the animation class. So let's finish first quickly the initialize method. Initialize the animation. And now we have to fill up the parameters. Um, the texture. Position. Frame width and the frame height. Frame counts. The frame time. the color the scale is on top is looping and the last one the starting frame of the animation. Okay. Initialize. Okay, that was the initialize. And now it's time to build quickly up the update methods. So public for its update game time uh, do not update. If we are not active, and that's an easy one. If not is active, then we return. And then update the elapsed time. And that's the elapsed time plus equals int of the game time and then the elapsed game time in total milliseconds right and then if the elapsed time is larger than the frame time We need to switch frames. So if the elapsed time is greater than the frame time, then we need to move to the next frame. So then the current frame is plus plus okay if the current frame is equal to frame count 
resets the current frame to zero. So if current frame equals to frame account, resets the current frame. So current frame is equals to zero. Alright. And if we are not looping, they activate the animation. So if not is looping, is active, is false. Right. Resets the elapsed time. Elapsed time is zero. And now we have to set the source rect grab the correct frame in the image by multiplying the current frame index by the frame width. Okay, so the source rect is a new rectangle and then we take the current frame and multiply it by the frame width. That's a zero frame width and frame height. Okay, and now we need to calculate the destination rectangle. And that's the destination rect is a new rectangle and we need to convert the position to an integer position x minus the frame width frame width multiplied by the scale divides by 2 So the same for position dot i minus the int of the frame height multiplied by scale divided by two. And then we have here the frame width multiplied by scale and finally the frame height multiplied by scale. Okay, and that's all there is in the update method. Right. updates the animation provides
fights snapshots of timing values and updates okay that was the update method um, I'm gonna finish the tutorial here in the next tutorial we're gonna implement the animation in the Pac-Man class so I hope you enjoy and I see you in the next tutorial. Bye.